אשר מלאך בטרם כה יציר נברא לי עד נעשה ותשאל צוקו עצי מלך שמו נקרא Thank you, Cantor Kaplan. Today in my sermon, I'd like to discuss suffering. Why do bad things happen to good people? Wherever there is pain or oppression or poverty, the question is always the same. How could God let this happen? Is God as good as we think? Can he, in fact, do evil? Maybe, on occasion, he even enjoys inflicting pain. I... I... No. I can't do this. I'm sorry. Rabbi? You heard. Huh? What? Go home, Mrs. Raymer. Is it over already? Yeah. Rabbi Stone, wait! You can't just stop. Sure I can. Just watch me. But... It's over, Josh. You can't mean that. Look, you're a good kid. You've got a good voice and a good future. Don't let me hold you back. Now do a mitzvah and call Mrs. Raymer a cab. I... Goodbye, Josh. I said, go away. Services are canceled. I repeat, services are canceled. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, I said. Fine, I'm coming. I thought I told you to go home. Rabbi Stone, there's someone here. Tell him to get lost. There's no service tonight. No, it's a... a cop. Huh? Detective Sam Durkin, Midtown South Precinct. Could I talk to you for a few minutes, Rabbi Stone? It's a free country? Yeah, yeah. Everyone's a comedian. Can you talk or not? Is there some sort of problem, officer? I'd just like to ask you a few questions. Fine. Josh, take a hike. So, what can I do for you? I assume you're not here to convert. Are you familiar with a Mr. Jack Lauder? Should I be? I'm asking the questions, Rabbi. Fine. Let me think. Lauder. Lauder. Oh. You know him? Yeah. What can you tell me about him? He used to belong to this congregation. Used to? But not anymore? No. Left about eight years ago, I think. What's this about? Have you had any contact with him since? No, I haven't. Care to fill me in here? Do you read the papers? Who has the time? So, you're not aware, Rabbi Stone, that Jack Lauder has been dead for three days. Does that bother you? Should it? Answer me, Stone. No. So, you and Mr. Lauder weren't close? No, we weren't. What's the deal, Durkin? 
I've seen Lord as will. He left you a significant amount of money. He left me money? Is this a joke? Are you joking with me, detective? No, I'm not joking. How much? I don't have the exact amount, but somewhere in excess of 10,000. Bull. It's the truth. Jack wouldn't give me bubkiss, let alone $10,000. And why is that, Rabbi Stone? He just wouldn't. Huh. This temple's in pretty sad shape, isn't it, Rabbi? Well, you're not blind, that's for sure. Can you afford the repairs? I... Do I look like I can afford it? I'm just asking. Oh, you're just asking? Well, I'm going to ask you to leave. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Rabbi Stone. Get out of my office. Listen. No, you listen. I know where this is going, and I don't like it. I'm just doing my job. Yeah, you're a real mensch. Get out of here. <sighs> Fine. I'll leave, Rabbi Stone. But I'll be back. Yeah, I bet you will. been 30 years.
Wow, Rabbi, what was that all about? Didn't I tell you to go home? Come on, Rabbi, I have to know. Who was killed? Josh, what did I tell you about listening at my door? I wasn't, Rabbi, honest. You were just... very loud. Huh. So who was killed? Was it that lauder guy? Do you think so? Yeah. Who else could it be? I heard you talking about him. Huh. We must have talked very loud. Well, yeah. So who is he? An old member of this congregation. Ah, that's too bad. Yeah, well, it happens to the best of us. Are you going to pay a shiva call? I don't think there will be a shiva, Josh. Why? Shivas are for Jewish families. Just forget it. All right, if that's what you want. I guess I'll go now. Yeah. Good night, Cantor. Night, Rabbi. Has God answered my prayers? I don't like it. Not one bit. Why, Jack? Why me? Why now? A shiva call. I can't just barge in unannounced, but I can pay a shiva call. It's the only way.
Mrs. Lauder? Yes? I heard about your husband. I came to pay my respects. Oh, you knew Jack? Does one need to know a man in order to grieve him? That's, uh, I suppose not. All right, come on in. I'm sorry, you look so familiar, but I can't place your face. What is your name? You don't remember me? Eight years ago, Rabbi Russell Stone? Oh, I remember now. You have a lot of nerve coming here. Why do you think that, Mrs. Lauder? Oh, don't give me that. I know all about those tricks. Answering a question with a question. Jack did it all the time. I'd like to think he learned it from me. It's too late for that, Rabbi. Way too late. What do you want? Do I need to have a reason to pay a shiva call? Huh. If it's you, yes. I... Oh, stop it. Just stop it. I don't believe this. You threw us out of your temple eight years ago. And now you drop by for a visit? It wasn't like that. Well, what was it then? Can you tell me that? Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe you're right. And yet, you're here. Why? Why would the police come speak to me, Mrs. Lauder? I have no idea. What did they say? That I'm suspect number one. Really? Well, that would make sense. Who else has a motive except for the rabbi who hates us? Why do you think I hate you, Mrs. Lauder? Enough! Do you have to do that here? Now? There is a time and a place, rabbi, and this is not it. Look, I don't hate- Whatever. Jack hated you. That's enough. Mrs. Lauder, if he hated me so much, why did he leave me $10,000 in his will? That's impossible. I said the same thing. Jack wouldn't do that. It's a crazy world. How do you know for sure? The police told me. I have no love of the police, but I doubt they'd lie about that. Mrs. Lauder, if Jack hated me so much, why did he give me so much money? I... I don't know. This makes no sense. None of it does. Who would kill Jack? He was a good man. Yes, he was. Don't you start. You have no idea. The police have no other leads? Aside from you? No. How did he die? I don't see how that's any of your business. I... Well... I suppose I'm curious. And I'd like to... Help. Help? Why would you want to help? I don't know. Maybe I... Maybe I feel guilty. I can't take Jack's ten grand without doing something to earn it first. Oh, that's rich. You come in here, puffed up and arrogant and sputtering platitudes, and now you want to help. Yes, if you'll have me. Forget it. Keep the ten grand. I don't care. Just get out. I don't want to see or hear from you ever again. Uh, but... Leave! Or so help me, I will call the police. As you wish. I'm sorry to have troubled you, Mrs. Lauder. Just go. Mrs. Lauder? Yes? I heard about your husband. I came to pay my respects. Oh, you knew Jack? After a fashion, yes. All right, come on in. 
I'm sorry, you look so familiar, but I can't place your face. What is your name? I'm Russell Stone. Your husband used to... I mean, we used to go to the same temple that I go to. Yeah. I remember now, you have a lot of nerve coming here. Well, I'm sorry about that. Oh, you're sorry, are you? I'm so glad to hear that. Jack would love to hear that you are sorry. He knows already, Mrs. Walter. Too late, Rabbi. Too late. What do you want? I'm not sure what I want. Oh, really? You're just getting back in touch. Is that it? I... Oh, stop it. Just stop it. I don't believe this. You threw us out of your temple eight years ago, and now you drop by for a visit? It wasn't like that. Well, what was it then? Can you tell me that? Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe you're right, and yet you're here. Why? Why did you send the police after me? What? I did no such thing. What did they say? That I'm suspect number one. Really? Well, that would make sense. Who else has a motive except for the rabbi who hates us? I'll let that slide. Whatever. Jack hated you. That's enough. Mrs. Lauder, if he hated me so much, why did he leave me $10,000 in his will? That's impossible! I said the same thing. Jack wouldn't do that. It's a crazy world. How do you know for sure? The police told me. I have no love of the police, but I doubt they'd lie about that. Mrs. Lauder, if Jack hated me so much, why did he give me so much money? I... I don't know. This makes no sense. None of it does. Who would kill Jack? He was a good man. Yes, he was. Don't you start. You have no idea. The police have no other leads? Aside from you? No. How did he die? I don't see how that's any of your business. I... Well... I suppose I'm curious. And I'd like to... Help. Help? Why would you want to help? I don't know. Maybe I... Maybe I'm looking to make amends for what happened eight years ago. Pfft, why not? Why shouldn't a rabbi play at being detective? You want to investigate, Rabbi Stone? Be my guest. I'll have to ask you some questions about what happened. Can't you just ask the police? They won't talk to me. I'm a suspect. Fine. Fine. Ask whatever you want. How did Jack die? He was shot. Right in the head, at close range, according to the police. I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Lauder. He was in the showroom, working late. That's all I know. How are you holding up, Mrs. Lauder? Fine. As well as can be expected. You've covered up the mirror. Yes, it's what you are supposed to do, right? Well, yes, but... I know. I'm not Jewish. I'm probably doing it all wrong, but it feels right. Is it right, Rabbi? Do you think it's all right? I don't know. That's why I asked you. Forget it. What business was your husband in? We were in business together. Fashion design. High-end casual wear. Shirts, blouses, slacks. I'd design and he'd sell. What is the name of your business? Charming Fashion Company. Charming? Yeah, it's a strange name, but it has meaning behind it. It's based on my family's name, Sharma, and it sounds like charming. I get it. Real cute. Was the business successful? We did all right. It was tough at first, but things have been picking up over the last few years. We sell to mainly boutique stores, but Macy's has bought several pieces from us, and Saks was interested. And what happens to the business now? Are you going to run it by yourself? I guess I could, but not right away. And definitely not in that same showroom. I can understand that. 
Where is your showroom? Why? Do you want to have a look? It can't hurt. Oh, this is crazy. Do you really want to do this? Yes. Sure, if you want to have a look, go ahead. Just because trained police officers couldn't find anything doesn't mean a rabbi can't. The building is 1407 Broadway, room 903. I'm going to leave now. I'll see what else I can discover. Thanks, I guess. Rabbi Stone? Yes? About eight years ago, could you just tell me why? Were you and Jack happy? Yes. Yes, we were. Then my reasons don't matter.
I suppose it's okay. I can't believe they're just leaving it here for anyone to come in and take it. They must have dozens of them in a back room somewhere. I've seen better. Meh. I've seen better. Yes? You're the chief rabbi here at Beth Tikva. I do carry that honor. So, what can I do for you, Mr... Uh... Rabbi, actually. Rabbi Stone. Well, fancy that. I can always spare time for a fellow rabbi. What brings you to our humble synagogue? Do you know Mr. Jack Lauder? Should I know Mr. Jack Lauder? Don't you think you should know Jack Lauder? Why do you think so? Wasn't he a member of your congregation? Was he? Don't you know your own congregation? Am I expected to know everybody? Well... Are you finished? I guess. Wonderful! He was a member of your congregation. He died a few days ago. That's right! The funeral service was yesterday. I honestly don't know where my head is these days. You conducted the ceremony? Yes. His wife insisted on it. Did she now? If I may ask, what is your interest in Mr. Lauder? Aren't all matters of our flock our concern? Uh, well, not every matter. But still, we do what we can, don't we? Is there anything you can tell me about Mr. Lauder? I'm afraid not, Rabbi Stone. My congregation is rather large, and Mr. Lauder seldom attended services. I'm sure I don't need to tell you what that's like. You certainly don't. Does the name Joe DeMarco mean anything to you? DeMarco? Yes. Sounds Italian. Other than that, it means nothing. Sorry. Are you familiar with an Ethan G? Ethan G? Is that his name? Just an initial, as far as I know. Ah, well, nothing leaps to mind, I'm afraid. Do you know anything about Ethan G meeting up with Joe DeMarco? In all honesty, I have no idea who Joe DeMarco is, so I'm afraid the answer is no. Good night to you, Rabbi Zelig. Good night to you, Rabbi Stone.
Mrs. Lauder. Oh, it's you. Come on in. Have you ever heard of the name Joe DeMarco? Joe? Joe. Joe. Yes, I've heard of Joe. He was one of our first investors. He invested in Sherman? Yes. Why did you need an investor? Well, we didn't have much money to start the business with. All the banks saw us as a poor risk, so we needed independent investors. Have you ever met Joe? Jack handled the money stuff, although I know Jack didn't like him. Why not? He didn't say, he just didn't like him. But we were desperate, so we had no choice. How did they meet each other? I think they were introduced. At the temple of all places. At temple? So Joe DeMarco is Jewish? Maybe. Why? DeMarco is not a very Jewish name. And that's important to you, is it? Not to me, no. But it's certainly significant. Do you know anything about Ethan G. meeting up with Joe DeMarco? I'm afraid not. If they met, I'm sure it had something to do with the business. Ethan was our accountant and Joe was our primary investor. Although I have no idea what they'd want to talk about. You really think Joe DeMarco is Jewish? I told you, I have no idea. Do you know an Ethan Goldberg? Oh, Ethan Goldberg. Yeah, I know him. Who is he? An accountant. We used him to handle taxes and complicated documents for the business. Not full-time, just on a consultant basis. Wait, is he involved in this? Not anymore. He's dead. What? Since when? About a week or two ago. Murdered. My God! What is happening? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm going to leave now. I'll see what else I can discover. Thanks. I guess. Do you know anything about Ethan G. meeting up with Joe DeMarco? In all honesty, I have no idea who Joe DeMarco is, so I'm afraid the answer is no. Did a Joe DeMarco ever belong to this temple? DeMarco... That's hardly a Jewish name. I know. Although, it's difficult to say. As I told you, it's difficult to keep track of individual congregation members. He was an investor in Jack Lauder's company. Does that mean anything to you? I don't know. Should it? No, I suppose not. I was hoping you could tell me something about Ethan Goldberg. I know he used to work here. Ethan? Oh, what a tragedy. That man did wonders for this community. It's a shame what happened to him. You know about his death? Of course. I conducted the funeral service myself. I recently found out that Ethan Goldberg and Jack Lauder did business together. Really? I'm not surprised. Ethan offered his services to many people. He was a whiz with an editing machine. So I heard. Doesn't any of this strike you as odd? Should it? Two Jewish men, both in business together and both belonging to the same synagogue, are killed within two weeks of each other. A third man, who may or may not be Jewish, is nowhere to be found. There are only two connections between these three men. One is Jack's business, the other is this synagogue. Rabbi Stone, I hope you're not suggesting anything... I'm not. Let me finish. People all over the world use religious communities to network and conduct business. This is nothing new. You know this, Rabbi Stone. If there is a connection, it has to do with their business dealings and nothing to do with Beth Tikva. I won't stand for our reputation being tarnished. Do I make myself clear? As crystal. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, if you'll excuse me, it is rather late. I understand. I'll see myself out. Wait, let me give you my card. Feel free to email me if you have any more questions.